The opening lap of the Aragon Grand Prix was dominated by the two crashes suffered by defending champion Fabio Quattararo and LCR Honda's Takaki Nakagami. Honda's Marc Marquez was involved in both crashes and he has now received some strong criticism. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Moto World, Zarco blasts Marquez for going a bit over the top. <laughs> Pramax Johan Zarco started off by suggesting that Mark pushed things too far prior to colliding with Taka. I saw the incident with Nakagami in the box. Nakagami could have taken out quite a few riders as well. I think Mark went a bit over the top. He then explained why. I love his style. For me, he's one of the strongest, and I told him this on Thursday, that he would be quite strong. But to move like that in a race, when you have this problem on the bike after the contact with Fabio, was too much. He reiterated that it was beyond the limit of what is acceptable. It was a crazy first lap, and just because of one guy. I don't like to say this because I like him, but it was beyond the limit that we have now. He then responded to Mark's explanation for continuing to ride after the contact with Fabio. It's a way to find a reason for the accident, and to not put all the blame on him. I don't want to say that all the blame is on him, but he had something on the bike. He already had part of Quattararo's bike fairing at turn 5. I thought he was going to slow down at turn 5 and try to figure out what was wrong with the bike, but he insisted on continuing to race. I think too much. At turn 16, he was still riding. Yeah, maybe it was this thing with the devices and things, but something was inside the bike at turn 5. He signed off by giving his thoughts on Mark's claims that he didn't feel anything was wrong with his bike after the clash with Fabio. So it's his word against mine. He is more popular than me, so his word will be more important. Fast feed. The super typhoon Nanmadol could lead to the cancellation of the Japanese Grand Prix this week. Fabio Quattararo revealed that he had a second crash in Aragon on the way to the pits aboard a Marshall scooter. And it was quite fast actually. Luckily I didn't take off my helmet. The Marshall just hit head on with another scooter. I don't have any injuries from that crash. Everything I have is from the first crash. Grassini rider Anea Bastianini's goal right now is the race, not the championship. LCR Honda's Alex Marquez stated, Well, those who are making negative comments about Mark Marquez are not motorcycling fans, but haters of a rider. Whatever it is, they go against everyone. They don't love motorcycling. KTM's Miguel Oliveira suggested that once again, this has happened in two previous races. We do a super competitive weekend, super good, and then the race comes and then there is some issue related to grip that doesn't work. I honestly don't have an answer for that. Ducati's Peko Banyaya feels that honestly he has changed a little bit from the beginning of the season, because now when I'm leading I just try to think about the most important thing, which is to be perfect on my bike, do things perfectly. To think on my side and not think that maybe the riders behind me are closing in. And Mark Marquez thinks that Anea Bastianini still has a chance to win the title. Is Anea Bastianini still a championship contender? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of MotoGP.